Good afternoon. Several towns in Quebec have declared states of emergency. There are rising water levels and flooding in the town of St. Urbain. Two firefighters are still missing. They were swept away yesterday during a rescue. And Angela, in Bay St. Paul, they're saying the worst might not be over. That's right, Mitsumi. It really depends on what happens with the weather in these next few days. That's going to be critical for this community. Um, now, Bay St. Paul here in Charlevoix is one of the hardest hit areas or the, the hardest hit area in the province. And you can see the Gouffre River behind me uh, is moving very fast. It's very high right now. Now, emergency measures were put in place yesterday uh, because severe flooding then forced hundreds of people from their homes. Many streets here are still closed today. The water levels have gone down a bit but some residents were able to return to pump water from their basements but some of these streets the pavement is completely washed away leaving nothing but mud there are emergency shelters set up for anyone who needs it and people are being asked to stay away from the river right now because it is very dangerous now public security minister Francois Bonnardel was on the ground touring the damage with the mayor of Bay St. Paul earlier today He's asking for residents to be patient because it's not clear right now when some of these roads will reopen. Uh, the water levels are expected to remain quite high in the coming days and things could get worse before they get better. It's may still complicated for the next 24, 48 hours. We're looking to have again uh, um, maybe, maybe 20, 30, 40 millimeter again of rain. So uh, it may be complicated, but uh, the level of the river have been going down for the next hour. So uh, we hope it will stay like that, but it may go up with the rain that we, we should have for the next hours. Now, a highway bridge that's connecting the two sides of town is still closed, Mitsumi, after partially being washed out yesterday. Crews are at work right now to repair it. There were scenes yesterday of campers floating down river. We saw one getting stuck on a bridge. People were talking about seeing refrigerators drifting by. It's, it's really been devastating for this town. Uh, and in nearby saint Urbain, as you mentioned earlier, teams are still searching for two firefighters. We saw a search and rescue helicopter flying by doing some flybys of this area uh, just a few moments ago. Now those firefighters were swept away in the current yesterday during a rescue operation. So today the SQ has 25 officers searching the shorelines. There's those helicopters as I mentioned. Divers are on standby and they they're hoping that they are alive and that they are just unable to communicate right now but time is not on their side. For sure the delay is always important. The time is always important. But we still hope that maybe we can find them. Maybe there is a, an impossibility with the communications, but we have to consider also the fact that maybe they are not uh, alive. So we have to consider that, uh, that situation. Now, Mitsumi, the public security minister says that he hasn't asked for the Army's assistance yet. He says things they have things under control for now. Um, there is going to be an office that opens up here in the coming days to help flood victims uh, who need help trying to figure out things like compensation. Mitsumi? Thank you very much, Angela.